with me who are going to do something this time? Correct. Or... That is correct. The two okay. of you yeah. are going to be in a slightly different situation. Okay. So I really should have asked you okay. instead of everybody. Yeah. And moving to the section called battle. Is it possible to go in a, like a defensive position? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to be the first aggressor. Is it possible yes. to talk the situation down? Uh, because you can try. They, they have spoken human words, mm -hmm. so it seems that it might be able to. Okay. But I will probably not stand like it with my hands in my pocket either. Right. So, so you're going to ride forward and turn perhaps sideways or something like that? Yeah, to... so it looks right. like if they're attacking, I will have a better chance to defend myself. Right. But I will also approach to see if I can talk to them. Okay. And the. I also need an image of what sort of weapon your character may have available to her. Uh, a bow, a lance. She's a ranger, so it seems right. likely with a bow. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so. And probably a mm -hmm. knife or something if sure. things get closer to yeah. her, but. The bow is her main, yeah, her main thing. Likely. Okay. Now, I will decide the turn order, and you, as you are vigilant, you have the. the the priority. It's, there's a whole there's a rule. Of course, you have priority. You are vigilant. You are I have all vigilance. kinds of things. Ah, but you are not. Well, you do not have instincts. Yep. And so, if you want to use your vigilant, then you're going to act very exhausted. So, the uh, so you can tell me if you want to do that. Yeah, I do that. Okay, I exhaust it and okay. I shoot. I shoot my bow. Oh uh, well. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. One moment. Okay. So you are, are are doing this turn. And I'm trying to be right. diplomatic. You start shooting things. Okay. And yes. so then uh, we will deal with you in just a moment. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that the, the they have a goal at the moment. And they are going to act upon that goal. Um, and so... Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. Um, now, what kind of interests me... One thing that is not quite clear to me I think that when my characters go, it is just another role for you. Yeah. A little bit like the whispering bulk. Remember, Nate, that when you when you attacked, you yeah. rolled, yeah. and yeah. when you defended, you rolled. Yeah. So I think the havoc system is always you rolling, and I don't roll. But uh, do I roll both then? Yes. And I guess this is a havoc zero. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to to tell you a little bit about it. Um, I'm going to say that dealing with these things is actually very tough for a specific reason. Oh, and so I'm going to give me a plus two. Okay. My, and so that means that I got a d6 and they got a d10. A d10? Because uh, it's two against zero. Yeah. Correct? Yes, that is correct. So you are, that's your, your bow shot. Yep. Yes. Uh, watch me fail. Mm -hmm. Watch me actually not fail. What did you get? Four on me, two on them. Oh, excellent. Okay, a split of two. And I believe that there is some kind of table for a bow that will tell us us if there's anything special. Uh, yes, let's see. Uh, it doesn't really give us any pluses or anything like that. Um, and so if there are special things you get because it's a certain weapon, it's too bad. We're not doing it nope. this time. I'm fine. We are going to... Oh, by the way, the same thing right now for armor. Uh, for this particular session, and I know it's not yeah. fair, armor is going to work like it does in the movies. Ah, it's it looks thing. great. It doesn't do shit. Yep. Okay. Cool. So just because that's one more rule, I'm not going to worry about right now. Yeah. So, um, so therefore, uh, your bow, uh, your bow shot, uh, is going to you basically win, and. Well, we, before we roll, we should have set some terms. Yeah. And I was going to say, if you succeed, then you are going to take out the one that it came the closest. Yeah. And so it shows the rest of them the price of sneaking up like this. Yes. Right. Of, of coming up like this in the way I described, and they will fall back considerably. Yeah. With the one that you shot, you know, right through the head. Yeah. Twitching on the ground. So that's what would happen if you succeed. If you didn't succeed, yeah. Then they would have swarmed you. Yes. That's what what was my my. And then uh, I could have uh, played with the havoc and raised the stakes and blow something. If you wanted to, yes. yes. But it seemed like that was pretty reasonable yeah. for what you were after. Yeah. So we are doing it a little backwards now, yes. by, but given your role, that's what what yeah. we what now happens. 
they do, they fall back a little bit, that still gives you the opportunity to talk. Now, that would have been just a straight Havoc roll. Okay. But at the moment, uh, it's going to be one for them because they are now upset. Yeah. <laughs> more upset. I'm sorry. All right. So you're talking to them is going to be a little more difficult. We are in yeah. peace except for shooting you. That kind of thing. You know? Yeah. You took a D8. You took D8. Mm -hmm. So they have a D8. She has a D6. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh -huh. Are you so going to tell Yes. Me? Now we are going to do this properly. Uh, I dislike pre-narrating too much. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm, it's not quite in my instinct to do it. But to give you just a little bit of an idea, uh, their circumstances are like this. They are not going to be very peaceful. The best you can hope for is that they are fully, that, that you are able to, uh, you are able to get them to stop being aggressive toward you at the moment. This particular group of them is going to be a little bit less inclined to attack on their own. Okay. But that's as far as you're going to get. No diplomatic discussion, no sharing of food, no yes. invitation to their campfire or some shit like yes. that. None of that. So if you fail, then there's going to be a terrible consequence. The trick that they have been the trick that they have been preparing okay. is going to catch all of you badly. Okay. Um, and even with your, and, and if you wanted to exhaust your, either your vigilance or your instincts, then you could possibly get out of it. But it's a bad, it's a, it's, it's a failure on this is going to turn out pretty badly for you. Yes. Cool. And I'm Aha, <laughs> yes, with a split of four. Um, let's keep in mind what that means, if we can, in just a moment. I will look for splits to, to understand them better. Um, there is... Havoc. Skill. Damage. Right? The defender... Ah, right. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, this... I am just a mean, mean, mean game master. What this means is they, they start nodding and listening, and one of them sits like a dog. Right, and it sounds seems as though you have frightened them a little, impressed them. That now you're you you you're thinking, oh good, you know, I have a pretty good chance of you know getting these guys to back off. Maybe we are too tough for them. That's when the crew of dogs that had circled around behind you this whole time, because remember they were they were capturing your attention with the way they were acting. Um, that's when they take all three of you from the back. Uh -huh. And if you want to exhaust your vigilant. Okay, and if you want to exhaust your vigilant, I have already done that. Oh, you already that did. Was, yeah, that was, that was it. That was it. That was yeah. killing the first one. Right. So that means that now they are hitting you, and it's going to be those four points of damage. We are just treating that as a damage roll. Okay. okay. They they hit you like a wave. Who knows how many? At least two per person. They are pack hunters. They hit you high. They hit yeah. you low. They 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 completely position themselves to where you weren't looking. Um, I'm going to say that you in particular are almost at the point. Your horse is completely panicked by this. Uh, you are in danger of coming off your horse. One of them is actually on you where it jumped. They are smart enough so that it actually jumped on the back of another of its friends and jumped from there to get onto you. And so you actually have one of these, you know, I don't know, 40 kilo animals yes. actually landing at full speed on you. On are your in horse. The injuries? Yes. And know? so, yes, I will tell you, tell you about your. And this is sanguine damage. Okay, so yeah. it's in points. And so, uh, you will take the difference. And I would add weapon damage. It's on a weapon chart. But hey, if I'm not giving you armor, I'm not going to give you the weapon bonus either, right? Oh, so it's that way you're maybe a little safer. And yeah. so, um, and then you will, uh, you will take, the, there's a place to put sanguine damage. Yes. So just put one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four? Yes. And then each of you has to make a four points. Of yeah, sanguine four damage. points. I was thinking, yes. like, if I was supposed to get all, like, one, two, no. three, four. No. But the bad thing is that this takes you over your thresholds. Ah. For your grit threshold. Right. And that's on there. And so you were. Sound. Uh, no, that's doesn't say any aspect. numbers on the hail. Yes, you were hail, and then oh. you're now down to the next one. Are there supposed to be number field in here? Uh, yes, it's a three. It goes by threes. 
Oh. For very tough characters, it will go up by fours. That's okay. why you fill it in. But all of you are threes. None of you took the abilities that, that boost you all in right. toughness. Yeah. So, um, so now each of you has to make a Havoc roll um, for to deal with injuries. Um, and so when thresholds are met, and so there's a chart that I have right here. Um, and so now you're going to uh, roll a d6 versus a d12, but you are the d12. Oh, all right. So this is not so bad. It's just the bruised level. Three and three. Okay, we'll deal with you in just a moment. Uh, I win seven. Okay, Whatever. you do not take an injury. All right. How about you? Uh, uh, they roll a six, roll a ten. Uh, so you succeeded. With four. Yes, that, that doesn't matter. What okay. matters here I is succeed. whether you are injured. Yeah. With you, I'm going to just give it to you and say that the tie goes to you for this purpose. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, and so none of you are injured. Yeah. And right. injury is a special category, a special thing you get okay. if you fail this roll. Yes, yes, because I read the rules a bit. Uh, yes. When you get a tie, I don't know if it is here, but in other skills yes. challenge, Correct. you get the, uh, often the player wins, but they get a but. I completely agree. Yeah, but that's a, yes, In this yes. case, yeah, this yeah. is an edge case of an edge oh, no. case. I'm not going, going to right. injure, injure yeah. England. No, yeah. no, no. That's I not my, right. my, my. I point completely process. agree with you, but yeah. I made the decision that yeah. this has got. We have got to stop the complications somewhere, yes. and it stops here. Yes. So, Good. with the, uh, so you now are in your situations. You actually are are on the ground, mm -hmm. and the and you know how bad it is to be attacked by canine type creatures on the ground, yeah. right? They know what they are doing, um, and uh, the, the yeah. same thing for you. Yeah. Um, and then. With uh, with you, you are on your horse, and at least one of them is snapping and snarling at your horse, and spooked it from behind. Right, the horse was taken by surprise and is, you know, is frightened from behind and doesn't know which way to go, which makes it very hard for you to keep your balance with this thing having just jumped upon you, and all of you are now bruised, and slashed a little, bruised and cut from these yeah. creatures, and so uh, you know that all of a sudden the fight turned very dangerous. Now it is a new turn. Everybody can go. I will determine the order based on what you say. All right. Well, uh, I think I will actually exhaust my mind spike mm -hmm. for these ones. Mm -hmm. And try and catch as many of them that are on us. That's not a problem at all as far yeah. as the ones on you are concerned. Yeah. Uh, to try and knock them unconscious. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, for Mind Spike, I believe yep. that it's going to be, uh, what are your uh, attributes again? Uh, exhaust willpower, willpower. Uh, or willpower to test to knock others unconscious. A willpower test. Cone area. Uh-huh. Oh, well, you know what? That's pretty good. You might, yep. if you position yourself yeah, that's well thinking. enough, I think that, that you'll be able to do it. To get in the right spot, yep. I'm going to say that you have to roll, yeah, I was come up like, to your one knee, you know, and up. get an idea of where you are, yeah. right? Relative to them, so you're not going to go first. All right. Because of the necessary movement to orient your cone. Yep. Right? And so then, uh, what will you do? Uh, how much can you do? Take any action. You can yes. resolve your whole situation. And remember, yes. the roles are, are pretty big. Yes. Right? The roles in this game are pretty big. That you, you will, your whole situation with these dogs. The one yes. on you, but, but your last horse. time I could not both talk to them and be prepared for an attack. I had to choose to choose for me to. I Correct, only talked because to those them. are two very different goals. Yeah. That's but, what I meant. Right. I... In this case, I will say that your entire physical problem at this moment will be resolved by your role. Yes. We will either completely, in you know, injure you and your horse and put you on the ground and maybe have them drag you off to their lair yes. with this role. Or you are going to solve your problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's the the role is because nice and big. My thought yes. was that I will try to slash the one that are on me and the horse mm -hmm. and get them away a bit Absolutely so I can have correct. some space between. Right. Yes. But I was not sure if I could do both. You can do even more than that. You can say that you can get you and your horse away from a situation where they can get you. You yes. actually have But they will probably to... not want to go too far away so Absolutely. they are but like so I not attack directly 
so I maybe can use my bow instead Absolutely. or something like yes. that. Yes, if with a successful roll, you can free yourself from the situation, you can get the horse to a higher place away from immediate attack and be well situated to use your bow. So your roll is nice and strong to, okay. to do these things. Yes. So those are the consequences that I see. 